What's up everyone, it's Joey, Plush Response, and today we're checking out the Line 6 Helix. Let's get right into it. All right, so we got the Line 6 Helix here. Uh, Sweetwater was kind enough to send me this, and it's been uh, something I've been thinking about reviewing for quite a long time because um, I've been playing a lot more guitar and bass lately. Um, and of course, since too, uh, and I've enjoyed this for my guitar and bass, but also um, one thing I almost never see covered, I'm sure there's a video somewhere, but I, I never see anyone talk about um, guitar amp simulators and guitar processors with, um, with synths. Of course, you see like individual pedals, but never one of these big multi-effects. So I've got the Helix here, um, and we're just gonna get right into it. It's just consider it like a fully featured effect suite. You have everything imaginable in here. Uh, editing's fairly simple. You use this encoder to go through blocks. You can cook up mono or stereo. In this case, I just have uh, mono just for simplicity's sake. And look, you go through all these different effects, all these different distortions. There's so many. So, this is for like over a thousand bucks last I checked. And if you keep that in mind, um, that you get like hundreds of different effects, it's like buying hundreds of pedals. So, price is fairly reasonable, all things considered. There's a software editor too, which I've been using a lot. Um, I'm gonna dive right into the amp stuff. Let's go right here. Go to amp plus, we'll go uh, amp first. And just amps are cool. Go back with home, get some some delay or something in there. All these different guys, vintage digital. Pitch echo. Transistor tape. All super fucking good sounding. This is like top of the line shit. I really appreciate that. Can bypass, go back home. Put another block in there. We're actually gonna go home again, bypass this uh, distortion. That's our dry sound again. We're gonna go here, check out some pitch effects. Do the twin harmony. Or the bass octaver. Cool stuff with the bass octave over there. Four oscillator generator. Do the dual pitch. Put some drums in. Go back home, keep going with effects, modulation. Lots of tremolos. Crunchy. We'll clear that. Get some phaser in there. Go over. I have a reverb block here. We'll unbypass. Go 
Let's spring up the tempo. Go back to the amp block. We'll change the amp to amp and cabinet. And we'll go down to some of the weirder ones. Line six fatality. Okay, interesting. Go back home. Gonna bypass that reverb. I find that just when you put it through an amp and cabinet, you instantly have that guitar amp vibe. Yeah. Change that reverb. Shimmer. We'll bypass the amp. Bypass the phaser, bypass the bleach chop, bypass the dual pitch, bring up the distortion. Interesting. Bring the app back. Amazing pad. That reverb is high quality. I like that shit. We even put the drum through. That's the drum through it. No, put the phaser on. It's tight. <laughs> Go back to the amp block. Scoop that mid. I'm using the software editor too. Tight. This is fun. We'll get another effect in here. Get some pitch. So I guess your effect selection is based on how much DSP you have left. It back through there. Oh, that's a little like came after you. Tight. KMFDM, better than the best. <laughs> it totally sounds like that. <laughs> I love that. Add some chance to that. We'll go back. Try another distortion. 
Industrial fuzz. We're gonna lower that octa synth. Take it off rather. Take off that pitch too. Alright, now we're back to it. The Xenomorph Fuzz. Bypass him. Ooh. Do another modulation effect. Yes. Tight. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, that's screaming. I don't even know what the fuck that is. It's got to be the um, Xenomorph Fuzz. Yeah. Okay. Well, that Fuzz is wild. It's a Fuzz Oscillator. Let's listen to that, that sequence I'm putting through it. It's totally not... Uh, Put it through another fuzz block. Oh, can't do it two in a row. So there's some limitations, but we'll try another fuzz. Big crusher. Don't seem to be doing much. That's quite a unique pick crusher. It doesn't have all that like artifacting that I'm used to. Put that through an amp. Back to our amp. That fatality. We'll go back. 2020-04 mod. And yeah, like I said before, you can set this up for stereo. For the sake of this demo, I haven't. I'm gonna change the reverb type. Ganymede. Oh, these reverbs are worth the price of entry alone. Especially if you have one of the smaller Line 6 stomp boxes just for that fucking reverb. That's some epic alien shit. Listen to that. Wow. Wow, let's keep keep listening to these reverbs. Plateau. Double tank. Gotta be a spring. Gonna bypass everything. Wild search lights. Let's, let's. Nice. 
non-linear. Wow, nuts. By the way, it's so hot today. You think in a country like Germany they would have AC, but we don't have AC here, and it's like fucking 80 degrees in here right now. I'm dying. Oh my god, I listen to that forever. Late drive, what is that? Wow, that pre-delay. That sounds amazing. He didn't send the drums, sir. Trippy. Yeah. Wow. Go to Glitz. Long, pretty Bring the synth back. Kind of has that like Aw Tecker, Tri Repite vibe, like Yuto or something almost. Not exactly, of course, but there's something in there. I think you can hear what I mean. They're really unexpected and cool. Let's bring the modulation back. Amp, maybe? Do a pitch shifter. I want a pitch shifter. Oh my god, that's so beautiful sounding. Put the laqualic envelope to loop in between no triggers. Now we're gonna change that reverb type. That's beautiful though. Ganymede. We'll try, go back up, go to the next one. And of course, this is like a type of sound I never heard from the Aquatic either, so. Just cause I'm, it's almost kind of car plus strongy. Wow, yeah, let's get a delay in there. I wanna hear a delay. We'll take out the amp. stereo delay so many choices here uh wow glitch delay let's hear glitch delay heliosphere Got some weird, beautiful stereo stuff happening there. This thing sounds so high quality, like an even tight or something. It's it's definitely on that level. Let's get some. Let's change up that sequence a little.
but that's not what you expected to hear from me today and not what I expected either. But wow, that sounds insane. Beautiful textures. My God, that delay is incredible. Oh, there's more parameters. Take off that high cut. Trails on. Motion on the shimmer. Wow, now we unlock the shimmer. Fuck. Wow. I'm just... That's like some of the... God damn. It's just so beautiful sounding. Tweaking the pitch shifter. Up an octave and a fifth. I'm marveling at this. This is so beautiful. Bring a distortion in. Tweaking the filter. Wow. Let's just try a different distortion. Oh no, the big crusher. Oh, wait, arbitrator fuzz. How much is all right? Let's put another amp and cab in here. Line six, but donk amp right in the beginning before the effects. I like that modular effect pack, dude. That's so great. Or rather, continuously variable. I just, I can't believe this insane, beautiful ambient texture we just got. Like, wow. Let's see if we can make it weird again. What can we throw in there? We've used all the blocks. Let's go to the reverb. Oh, wow, Ganymede. Or oh, no, Plateau reverb. Wow, that's insane. Opening the filter. And of course, you can assign foot switches to bypass shit. Like how this one bypassing the reverb. I don't know 
how it could get better than that right now. So I think we're gonna cut it there. I just... It's awesome. There's no argument. Sounds fucking incredible. I rest my case. I can't even begin to like... I was not expecting that. It surprised me. I can listen to it for like 30 minutes. Wow, and it's just droning on its own right now. Love that. Line six helix. So that was sick. Look, I'm gonna tell you, what I thought was gonna be the most interesting thing here was the amp modeling. And granted, I love the amp modeling. I've been using it a lot. It sounds cool. And it's cool to impart guitar-like characteristics on since I've been doing it a lot of new material with the Line 6 Helix and other stuff from like Neural DSP and, and Native Instruments and whatever else. But uh, what I most wanted to show is just the extreme versatility and power contained in this effects processor and Line 6 in general. If you get a Helix or if you get any other stuff like the HX effects or HX Stomp or whatever, you're going to get high quality, incredible effects that can compete with Eventide and just completely take your sound to the next level. I think at the many price points they have, you're going to find something that works for you. I went for the Helix, of course. Um, and thank you again for, to, uh, to Sweetwater for sending it to me, but uh, I see myself using this thing forever. I could take it on stage uh, with guitar, I can use it in the studio for guitar, synths and bass, I can process audio through it. It's just really powerful. Uh, and thinking again about the price, for the price of a HSFX or something, you know, it's like buying a really nice boutique pedal, but in essence you're getting like 50 to 100 pedals and just just that alone is so worth the entry price to me i think it's super powerful and i don't see many people doing this sort of thing often with um with uh synths guitar multi-effects all of them and especially line six are so sick i love the sound of the line six effects i've used them for many years i've had pods in the past and i'm going to be using this one a ton more so samples of this jam and other jam are going to be up on my patrons always for you to like and subscribe uh for you to use in your own productions don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, if you want to support me i have a new album out called sprawl on artifact records 10 tracks two with marquio from cubanate doing vocals it's out now cd and digital and there's a new shirt uh design helped along by brandon smith of the annex i'm really happy with this album seems to be well received so check it out try my best to pull out all the production stops for you to bring you my hottest shit ever on top of that my label megastructure has a 17 track compilation of the freakiest mindfuck idm you've ever heard in your life i have a roster there of people like tom hall from cycling 74 buffer glitch aka evo ivanov of glitch machines uh somatic responses imminent starvation from anton and hyman uh so many people sleep kinetic layer uh the full list will be right here and they all gave me some of their best work uh and it's available on cassette and digital now the cassettes are going to be uh, arriving soon and shipping out soon so thanks for everybody who pre-ordered the whole compilation is out now if you want to support me in other ways check out the affiliate links in the pinned comment video description as always check out patreon like and subscribe and do the usual and i'll catch you next time peace out